They attacked me again. And they will lose again. Okay. Hello everyone, I am Boiler and I welcome you to episode 4 of Humankind. Yeah, as I already said in the first episode, this ambient sound is really great. I mean, it, it clearly... It, it sounds like nature and a busy city and just it's just beautiful, it's just really really beautiful as are the visuals in this game i mean this game is gorgeous just absolutely gorgeous i mean look at that yeah absolutely absolutely beautiful yeah uh, but we are not here to look at the scenery and listen to the ambient sound we are here to get stuff done so uh yeah let's let's get some stuff done <laughs> Um, what do we have to do in this round? So we have our uh, arches that uh, which we still need to somehow get over there. Um, what the? Yeah. Okay. So we'll get uh, go 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 over the river there. So uh, oh, there's a curiosity. We will uh, collect that in the next turn. Then we have these guys. For for now, just um, please just stay there. Do we want to attach this? No, we don't. Uh, we want to make this into a city. The problem is we'll need a shitload of... Um, we'll need a shitload of uh, influence that we don't have currently. So we need to build that up. We need to build that up. We, we, we need to be careful on what we spend our influence because we really need a second city. So um, yeah, we want to do that as soon as possible. So our archer can claim this uh, curiosity. Uh, what did we get? Uh, curiosity collected 20 gold. Yeah, okay. So what's that? Um, okay, I don't know if that's a good idea. Probably not. So um, Let's go. I'll just go over here. I mean, if they attack me, so be it. But I don't want to force it, actually. Yeah, what are they doing? They are not doing anything. Cultural conversion started. So I, what does cultural conversion meaning? Will my outpost convert to their culture or what, what will happen? Uh, so these guys... Uh, no, no I want... Ah, they are blocking my way. Jesus Christ. Yeah. So we'll just move one tile then. Yeah, there's not much to do during turns right now. Just move around one unit. Uh, and they're still blocking my way. Jesus Christ. Hmm. So let's let's have a look at this mammoth over here. We could actually take that pretty easily now. Charge. Yeah, uh, instant resolution. What did we get? 20 gold. Nice. And turn. So let's go Follow back. Me. So they have federancy now. That's great. Um, no way. I don't. I don't see any reason to attack them except that they are fucking with me here. They are blocking my path. That's really annoying, actually. Over this uh. So how how are we doing on these stone circles? Still five turns away. Are they following me? What the hell? New grievance available. Uh, new grievance available. What kind of grievance do we have? Speak and make it quick. Oh, these assholes. Let's first resolve that battle. So they attacked me. Why are you attacking me? You will lose. Let me see here. 
So I have two veteran C um, scouts. Um, well, manual battle. And why are you guys all down right. there? Go up there, please. Thank you. And deployment. Now let's see what they do. So they attack, but it don't doesn't do them any good. Um, can I go up there and attack from there? This is 25, 35, and this is this is the same because this is a river. Um, yeah, okay, so actually let's take... Can I? No, I can't. No fear. Let's attack first with these guys, and then let's attack with these guys. And then the battle will be over. Okay. Acknowledge. Acknowledge. So, uh, yeah. That's not too bad. I mean, they lost the unit. <laughs> uh, that's totally unnecessary from their point of view, actually. But, uh, yeah. It's what it is. And these guys are really annoying the hell out of me. Please go somewhere else and leave me alone. Uh, so, um... Yeah, in four turns we can do something down here in Memphis. World deed lock. Sacred ground has been locked by another empire. I didn't mean to be pushing. Sacred ground. Where's sacred ground? What's that? Where is it? I don't see it. Hmm. Whatever. So, um, <clears throat> change of reputation. Uh, okay. Yeah, I, I don't know what that means, but uh, yeah, whatever. So, um, these guys are still following me around. It's just not normal. <sighs> Jesus Christ. So, end, uh, end turn, it would seem, yeah. Yes, yes, end turn. <laughs> We can't really do much else. Population gain, acknowledge. Change of reputation, uh, okay. New grievance available, you may ask for reparation. Uh, let's see. Let's keep this conversation short. They attacked me again. And they will lose again. Okay. Yeah, um, and deployment. Well, now they have quite a strong unit, actually. But they will still lose, because I... Because I have two units. Yeah, they will definitely lose this one again. Yep. Okay. Okay, so let's have a look at this grievance. Um, no one abuses my people without consequences. You make a grave mistake. Yeah, um, you're completely incompetent, you know that. I would actually be... Uh, I could easily declare war on them <laughs> if I wanted. But actually, I don't see any point in it. It would just waste my resources, so... Um, Independent people! Uh, this city was founded by... What? Which city do you refer to? Which city do you... What the hell are you talking about? So, oh, they are finally gone. Jesus Christ. So what do we have? A carcass of riches. Um, wild animals in the forests around Memphis have always been hunted for their meat, but now an inventor in the city believes the carcasses can be put to other uses too. They believe the carcasses can be harvested for their military, decorative or subsistence application. Uh, how should the bodies be used? Militarize. Patriotic on Memphis for 20 turns. Uh, yeah, I don't... I'm, I'm not sure if I want to build the units. Um, just now. Barter. Prosperous on Memphis. Plus five monies. 
plus five money. Bountiful on Memphis. Um, well, money is not bad. We could then buy units. Uh, on, the, on the other hand, we need uh, as much population as we can get. So Bountiful is not bad as well. Um, money is actually not much of a problem right now. Um, actually, I want I want more people. Bountiful for 20 turns. So, two turns until this stone circle is finished. Uh, how are we doing up here? Yeah. Uh, we uh, need more influence. We need much, much more influence. So, uh, now we have finally our archers up here. So, this means we'll take our uh, scouts out. And send them back down there. Okay. So, <coughs> irrigation research, yeah, no, that is great. So let's see what we can do here. Masonry, uh, I will go for masonry next. And uh, let's see, one idle city, one idle army, yeah, okay. You guys come down here, please. Oh, there's actually a, uh, a unit, so we'll not attack these guys, obviously. Can you... No, you don't have any movement left. Um, well, we could attack them, but do I want that? I mean, no, no, I don't want that actually. So let's see what our city is doing. Harbors. I don't want a harbor. Oh, I could actually build a harbor. We have access to the sea from Memphis. Okay. Um, yeah, whatever. So... Um, what is that? Population gain. Uh, Neckar. Acknowledge. So, um, what can we build here? We have five people. Um, in four turns, we'll get another one. And let's get rid of that damned harbor. Jesus Christ, understood. So, we could... <sighs> no, we will wait with the pyramid, definitely. So, can we build anything that gives us more influence? No, we can't. Or can we? This gives stability. How are we doing on stability? Okay. So, do we want to build a stability building? Do we want to build a stability building or do we want to build... This is infrastructure, so we could build a granary or we could build flood irrigation. Um, we cannot build another one of these. We could build one over here, actually. And this gives... Oh, actually, this gives... Um, this gives influence and we need influence. But it will cause minus st stability. Um... Ah, let's see. Let's see. What do we need to build here? Actually, how much food will this give? Plus two per farmer. Plus two food on the river. So this is... Well, we have quite a few river tiles in here. So we have one, two... Yeah, so we'll definitely do this one, okay? This is 10 turns, but uh, it's totally worth it. So let's do that one. So we can grow faster. And turn. New notification. What do we have? New grievance. Change reputation. Okay. We have another battle. Seriously? Did anyone ever tell you how ugly you are? No one abuses my people without consequences. You cockroach! Okay, he, he clearly doesn't like me. He clearly doesn't like me for some reason. So, do we have to fight a battle here every turn? Or, um... Understood. I mean, I don't mind. I mean, it, it would... It weakens, it weakens them and it strengthens me, so, um, be my guess, no mercy. I guess. Ah! Ah! I mean, this, this is an easy way to level up my units. Okay. 
I mean, he must run out of units at some point. So you guys are doing what? You're just running around over here, yet, yeah, aren't you? So, uh... Do I want this territory? There's... I want this territory, actually, because there is, uh... There is potentially a, uh, important resource there. Knowledge? I am listening. Okay, you attacked me as well. You attack... Okay, if you attack me, then, um... Yeah, then we'll do this. Then we will do this. There's... Well, whatever, so, um... Yes. Yeah, and deployment, and let's see what they will do. Okay, that could actually be very... Very beneficial. Yeah, we can backstab them and... Uh, almost be done with it, but uh, we can backstab them again and this, this will do it. Okay, uh, I'm getting the impression that the AI is really stupid. I mean, it is wasting units for absolutely no good reason at all. Knowledge. Let's see here. Uh, there's one era star where we need to kill units. Isn't that the case? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We'll we'll get we'll get one through that as well. Um. Okay. Whatever. Uh. We are itching towards uh towards uh the uh, influence we need to uh, create that city. Population gain, side piece, okay. Population loss, okay, acknowledge. World deed unlocked, yeah, whatever. Change of reputation, uh, okay. Didn't we have a grievance? Uh, let's see. You have my ear. Tell me what you wish to discuss. Uh, give me some money. No one abuses my people without consequences. Do you not realize who I am? Well, you're an old white man who poses as, as, a, as a Chinese. That's what you are. So, um, what else do we have? I don't think I don't think we have anything else. Do we want tea? No, we don't. Um, I'm actually wondering: should I? We have a bit of money. Should I? Uh, should I trade with someone? So I think I'm I'm quite on quite friendly terms with Welcome. these people. What do you seek? Treat these. Yeah, I'm quite trade everything. What do you have? You have salt. Can I buy one? Base price, transportation mode price, total price. So it's a one off and then I will just have access to it. The world comes a bit closer together. Thanks to the first trade link that will bring shiny baubles and greedy vendors. Okay, so we have salt. Huh? It cost me a bit of money, but um, we have traded with them. So <laughs> let's see. <clears throat> so yeah, we need to be... Oh, Jesus Christ, we are a little bit boxed in here, aren't we? <coughs> Um, we need to be careful there. <laughs> so, uh, I need to claim this territory down here <clears throat> before anyone else does. And turn. Acknowledge. Yeah, 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 whatever. Uh, yeah, 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 whatever. So, I'm really wondering where will be a good place here for uh, building an outpost. Yeah, we'll see that once we are down there. New grievance available. Again? Okay, actually I want to I want to attack these guys. They re uh, retreated, okay? A battle is underway. Again? Again? Are these 
Oh, these are the Babyl, uh, the Assyrians? Yes, these are the Assyrians. They just... They are grinding their population against my outpost here. Um, yeah, we'll do a manual battle because that will do less damage to our units. I mean, I realize these get a little bit boring, but... Well, yeah, um, I need to do this. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Um, so now we'll finish them off. This is already a level 2 veteran unit. Because of them. Victory! Battle at Scythe. Whatever. I'm really wondering if I should... Get these guys over here because... Um, then I could level these guys up. Oh well. What do I have here? Victory, yes. Um, okay. So we have a bear roaming over there, but it doesn't really concern me right now. So what do we have? We have these guys. They need to come down here and claim this territory and fast. Oh, there's a curiosity. We also need to uh, claim that. So Necker is currently switching between losing and gaining population every turn. So uh, <laughs> that's interesting. Um, let's see. Let's get this. What did we get? 20 gold. That's not too bad. Um, acknowledge. Now we need to build that outpost. What does it, does it cost? 50. Yeah, we can, we can actually afford that. So 422 is not too good. It's it's a ton of uh, a ton of uh, production, obviously, but <sighs> so seven sixteen nine nine thirteen three. Okay, that's obviously terrible. Eleven eight eight eight. I want to, I want it to be a little bit balanced, if possible. Um, what do we have down here? Four. This is mostly very good for production, but very bad for everything else. Now, of course, um, I don't need to make this a city. I could just attach this to Memphis, so... Um, which I will probably do. Um, so, since this doesn't need to be a city, I could just use the production for Memphis. If, it, if I wanted to make it a city at some point, this would be a better location right there. But I, I really just want to want this to be an outpost. So we'll get for we go for the 22 production actually. Population gain. Now on next turn it will lose a population again. You can be sure of that. Uh, what else? No, nothing else. So let's finish. Yes. And there's another curiosity over there. So uh, we'll, we'll go have a look at that. And we are very close to um, masonry research. Yes. We are very close to uh, having enough to uh, make another city. So masonry will obviously go for bronze working. Um, yep. And then we'll finally be able to uh, create our emblematic unit. Era Star unlocked. Science Star. Yeah, well, that's great. So now I have three. Uh, how are we doing? Uh, we are not doing great. I absolutely not. Oh, Jesus Christ. Acknowledge. Do we have another grievance? Aww. Follow me. Oh, influence and science. Okay, that is great. So oh let's go back to this outpost, just to be sure. Um, <laughs> so we have another battle and it's just insane. What what are these guys doing? Over this way. What are these guys doing? I mean, where the hell... Where the hell does he get all the population to, to send one unit every two rounds here? It's not, it's just not normal. Now, now. All together. Okay. Yeah, um, I expected as much. 
Acknowledge. And end turn, and next turn we'll make a city. Okay, now what? Oh, okay, you can... Uh... We'll stay here. Yes, and then we'll have an idle city. Oh, that's actually good. Um, let's first, actually, let's let's first create this city up here. Um, so I wanted to make this city, and this will be the outpost. Is that right? Because this has, um, what do we have here? Eleven, twelve, three. Where do I see the total yield? Uh, so you get a total of 11 before anything else. You get a raw 16 on that. So you get 14 food. And 12 industry. Okay, let me see. <laughs> Which is the better territory? I would say this one, because this has the horses in it. And yeah, actually, let's make Saip a city and Ildun will then be attached to it. So, uh, evolve. Yeah. Okay, that was really expensive, but now we have two cities. Uh, and what we can do here is, um, I should actually make an Egyptian pyramid, shouldn't I? Or should I first make, no, well, this is a maker's quarter, so, uh, horse ranch, I would need, yeah, I will, I will, I want these horses. So let's, let's do the horse ranch first, so. <clears throat> Yeah, so we get horses. Uh, so now what can, what can we do here? Um, oh, Jesus Christ, these pyramids take a really long time. Uh, we could make an artisan quarter. Where could we... Why could we make an artisan quarter? Oh, because of that. Okay, this is... What well, is this? Papyrus. Okay, so we'll, we'll build that. Uh, how long will it, how long will this take? Four turns. Okay, that's okay. So <clears throat> this will take one more turn. The Sioux yielded. They accepted my demand. Oh, we have quite a bunch of money now. Okay, acknowledge. A game of prophecy. With the empire thriving, a new game hailing from a foreign land beguiles the population. Everywhere you go, the di distinctive game board and pieces catching your eye, insisting on a public demonstration. You play the game under instruction in your palace court, but the event has a sting in the tail. The game is reckoned to be a form of divination as well as entertainment. Gasps Gasps could be heard as the game's prophecy became clear. You are fated to lose everything. What will you do? If this prophecy spread, the results could be devastating. Every witness should be paid off. Uh, let the people gossip. The prophecy will soon be proved false. Mm. Superstitious? Um, I will just pay this off because um, I have enough money and... Yeah, I don't want to deal with the consequences, so let's just deal with that in this way. So, how am I doing on troops? I have two scouts, then I have an archer and the uh, and the warrior up there, and then I have two scouts down here. So, I would really, I really need to uh, do something about my military power in this region down here. Uh, now we are gaining quite a bit of. Um... So, uh, how much does it cost to attach that? Oh. 160 and 160 so we'll we'll need a few rounds to uh, a few turns to uh, to make this happen but uh, we'll, we'll make it happen yeah i know necker is a constant problem uh but whatever so um Now the plan is to turn necker into a city as well at some point but uh we really don't have the uh the influence right now to do this. 
The first calendar, the invention of the calendar heralded a glorious day in the Empire's history, now with two major cities and numerous farming affairs needing to be harmonized across the land, it is time to standardize this calendar. Traders must have an easy means of, synchronizing, of synchronizing their activities. By what means do you wish to track the days? Solar calendar or lunar? The learn assure you that this calendar will be better than the passing of the season. The waxing and waning of waxing and waning of the moon is something familiar and comforting to the people. Uh, what will do? What will this do? Modifying the social access toward progress. Progress is good. I want progress. Solar. Knowledge. So, uh, we currently can't do much because we don't have any uh, units to move, so... Population gain. Yeah, Necker again. Osmosis event. Your civilization benefits from its proximity to other... Us. What does this do? Acknowledge. What the hell? What the hell? I don't get it. Um... Yeah, I can still cannot attach. I will need to wait one more turn. So what do we have here? So we uh, built our artisan quarter. So uh, what is this? This is a harbor. What will that do? If we build this here. Um, how are we doing on stability actually? Oh, we have, we have quite a bit of stability. Um... If I take one of these out and drop it here, what will happen? Hmm, not much. Oh, that's actually industry um, stability. So this this is really not this is really not structured well. I think it's, it's a little bit hard to get the information you need. Um. So it will drop down to 98, which is not too bad. Um, what else can we do here? This is stoneworks. This will help with our um, plus 15 stability. So I could just... This is not a quarter. This is just something I could build in the middle of the town. So let's see if I build a harbor. What will this do for us? Um, this will actually improve the uh, coastal tiles. And will give food and... And science. We, 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 where, where do we get the best one? Nine and six, eight and three, eight and three. Uh, so this is the best one actually. Yeah, so we'll definitely build this and we'll build it there. But how are we doing on population? In nine turns, we'll get another population. We need to do something about our uh, military power. So let's actually build another warrior and um yeah okay this will cost quite a bit of uh, population we now currently have uh how much population do we have what the hell we have seven so we have seven population okay let's first let's hope no one attacks us and let's first build this harp because this seems to be a really good improvement Plus food and plus science, a little bit stability loss, but it's not too bad, so we'll do that. We'll definitely do that. Uh, so these are still building uh, the horse ranch. Benefit from proximity to others, uh, acknowledge. New grievance, so we have a battle, more probably. Bronze working research, so um, yeah, well, what is this? Um, Market quarter, flood mo food market, house of scribes. Oh yeah, that's actually not bad. So this is our emblematic unit. Oh, I really want to build some of these. So let's go for the wheel. What is that? An exchange between the people of this city and this neighbor led to a minor technology breakthrough. Uh, oh. Oh, okay, so this is science osmosis. Okay, that's great. Great to know. Era star unlocked. One of the builder stars the Phoenicians have been unlocked. Yes, yes, yes. 
And we met the uh, Phoenicians, apparently. Uh, okay. Yes, we have the Phoenicians right there. Help me make this world a better place for all uh. our peoples. Okay. Propose? The world is full of new opportunities, is it not? Hear my proposal. Great things. This will lead to great things. You have made a wise decision. So very unexpected. <laughs> okay. That wasn't very nice. Um, yeah, that's it. So, uh... Let's see, you have gained enough followers and can now enact a new tenet to enrich your religion. Oh. So, uh, yeah, we have 25 followers or 26, we need to 25. We can now um, select one of these. So what, what do we get? Tier 1 tenet effects. Plus 5 money and luxury resource deposit. It already belongs to someone. Oh, this is this this is gone, but all everyone el everything else I can get. Oof. Plus two stability on rivers. This is huge. I mean, if you have a district, um, uh, if you have a city in a uh, in a region where you have a lot of rivers, you will get a lot of stability from that. Influence on mountain. Oof, that's not bad as well. Smite on believers. Experience on creating unit on all cities. The unbeliever is a poison in the Empire's body. Cast out all who proclaim false beliefs. So plus 25 experience on creating unit on all cities. So every unit that will be created has plus 25 experience from the start. That's not bad. Um, yeah, no. Seek wisdom. Strategic resource deposit plus 5 science. Uh, industry and forest on woodland. That's not bad as well. Coastal water on lake. These are all very good. I mean, this gives potentially a lot of food. We don't have much coastal waters, but we have some. Be in harmony with nature. Stability on river. Most of our... We don't have... Ma we do have few mountains. Actually, let me have a look here. Let me have a look here. So, uh, what can we do here? So, plus two food of all on all of these, or plus influence, plus one influence, was it? Yeah, one influence on each mountain. So, we have quite a few mountains over here, and then some down there, and then a few over here, and then some more over here, and some more. Um... That's actually a tough one. I mean, influence is really, really important for expansion. I don't know how important it will be later in the game, but right now it is really, really important for us. Um, so getting a bunch of influence actually it wouldn't be too bad. Uh, we need to care about stability as well, but currently we are not doing too bad and we, we have a few things we can do there. We can uh, build a few things to... Uh, um to help with that so uh, i'm actually really torn here i'm actually really torn understood yeah um go to the tennis screen so one influence on mountain when battle is far off the world can be full of temptation so come not for it is false economy what but this is actually this is actually great as well, but minus one, u minus one unit upkeep on unit. Um, this will give us a, a bit of gold as well, but influence is huge, of course. Stability is huge as well. Um, food. Be in harmony with nature. Still not. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm struggling a little bit here. Um, influence. Yeah, I want to go with influence, actually. Choose this tenet.
So let's see, what did this give us? Um, what the hell? Let's go out of here. Let's turn on this. New tenant for Egyptian shamanism. Okay. So yeah, we, we now get influence on all mountains. Uh, okay, yeah, that's great. Now, of course, only on the mountains that are that are actually actually worked. So uh, we need to uh, do something about that. But um, what's that actually? Huge trees. Okay. Um. Yeah. But we will work these mountains at some point. So we already got a a, a few additional influence points here. So um, let's see what else can we get here. Shared projects, um, yeah, whatever, um, let's build a pyramid. Do we want to build a pyramid? How many? We have one of two, what? No, how? We have three of eight, we have three population up here. We'll, it will take quite a, some time to get more, to get more, um, I want to build the pyramids because this gives us um, a production bonus. So let's see here. Um, where do we lose the least? So we'll lose one food over there. We'll lose two food over here. Um, we cannot build it there. We'll lose one food. We'll lose... Okay, I would say this is the best here to build this pyramid here. So we'll build the pyramid right there. Okay, so end turn. So the Harappans reach the classical era. Era star unlocked. Yeah, Astid star. Population loss. Yeah, no. So, um, what else? So we are working on the harbor down here. Uh, how much do we need to progress this to a city? What? Uh, but we can attach this. We can attach this. So this belongs now to three uh, to Memphis. So that's great. Yeah, cities are really expensive. I suspect that this has something to do with uh, our city cap being. Uh, at two and we already have two cities so we need to uh, unlock a new uh, uh, an additional city cap point Necker yeah knowledge osmosis event let's go there oh that's actually great we get quite a bit of science up there yeah and turn What do we have? Land of the dead. For hundreds of years, the dead of Memphis have been laid to rest in burial sites within or close to the city's borders. Now, however, with a fast rising population and many dying every moon, these sites are becoming overcrowded. Future burials could lead to disease as corpses await processing. Cremation might be a wiser choice. What is your decree? Bury. Forced labor. Um, we could take the stability hit, actually. Uh, cremate quartermaster on Memphis plus 10 food for 20 turns. But we'll, if we want to build units, it will be more costly. Um, fanatical on Memphis, uh, privilege. Um, can we can we take the stability hit? Let's have a look here. Ooh. Yeah, we'll, we'll just we'll just build a um, what is this? A public fountain then. We will just build a public fountain. Um, so we'll go and where is it? Where is this event? So there is it. Um, plus ten industry. Uh, how much is that? How much do we have industry? This is well, this is more than ten percent more. Actually, that's not too bad. So, uh, yeah, let's, I think, let's do that. On the other hand, we'll... Do we want to build units during the next 20 turns? Maybe we'll, we want, so we'll go with the Burry one. So, exploitation, so, uh, next turn.
And next turn. You have built a first harbor to construct and launch the vessels of the Empire. Time to stock up on champagne bottles. <laughs> okay, so we uh, research another technology. So we'll go with sailing or writing? Fishmonger, okay. Plus money on harbor. Uh -huh. House of Scribes. We're gonna go with writing. So what can you build next? So what do you need to build next? You need to build this uh, public fountain for stability. So let's just do that. Okay, what's that? Oh, okay. So we now have attached three uh, two outposts yeah okay that's great what is that the Phoenicians have a special interest in this place why what is this what, what is this artisans quarter oh okay yeah that's um and turn so we can now attach... Yeah. Uh, resource sold. Access to a papyrus was purchased by the Hittite for 20. Acknowledge. Okay. Um, let me have a look here. Thebes. Okay. Um, is this attached to something? I don't think so. Let me see here. Um, no, let me click on that. I want to attach this one. Yes. Oh, now it, now it is attached. Okay, so this will help with production over here, actually. So, um, now one thing I want to do is attack this bear. I want to attack this bear with these two units. Because I want to level these up. What did we get? 10 gold, that's okay. So yeah, now we get some roads here. Era star unlock. Now we have the uh, agrarian star. Okay. Understood. Okay. So what do we have? We have two agrarian stars. Because we have the population for that. We have one Esteed star. Uh, we have two scientist stars. Why do, we have, do, why do we have two of these? Okay. Yeah, whatever. So uh, we need one more star to advance. Uh, how are we doing currently? Uh, well, we are not doing good. <laughs> well, we are not too bad either. Uh, we can we can catch up, but um, yeah, we could we could definitely do better. So let's go back into the outpost. Thank you. Yes, Commander. Uh, and turn. Culture chosen. Oh, Jesus Christ. The Nubians. Um, can we do anything right now? We have... Oh, we have actually a um, civic to unlock. So let's see. Religious rights. Yeah, still, we, we have to unlock this. Um, so what will we do? Um, unlock... Unlocks action procession. Okay. Minus percent on an industry cost. Oh, that's actually not bad. Uh, what do we get here? So this is money on city or outpost, and this is industry on city or outpost. I think industry is more, is better. And th what do we get here? Uh, industry on city, uh, uh, or money. So we already have industry over there. No, we have not. We will get to industry once we move that. And actually that one is quite good here. Minus 30 on the religious district industry cost. Um, yeah, 
Yeah. I suppose there are some things that are best done alone. We'll do that. We'll do that. So, cultural so conversion started. Uh, you'll do not knowledge. Didn't we? No, the, the pyramid will be finished next turn. Um, plus thirty eight. Debate okay. and discussion are not the pastimes of the idle, but the actions of thinkers and movers who will touch every aspect of civilization. Okay, locate okay, the event. So we have uh, sailing and organized warfare. Let's do sailing. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, acknowledge. Now we are in a bit of a problem. Um, we could trans, we could transcend into the next era, but then we will no longer be able to uh, build our emblematic unit. <laughs> um, let's see, can we get some more era stars? Um, no, actually, I don't want to have a look at that. I want to have a look at era stars. How do I do that? If I click on here. Yeah, understood. I wanna Oh okay, here can here I can look at this. So what can we do? Builder stars. This will take a long time to unlock this one. Um this will take a long time as well. Well not as long, but it will take some time. Um We have completed this. Um merchant stars earn 1100 money We are not too far away from that Well, let me unlock one more star then uh, Is this really critical? Mm, yeah, we have two that are directly behind us um, Yeah, so let's see So we built the pyramid over here Um Minus one, so we are actually losing um, population there. So we need to build. We'll need to build one of these. Uh, plus four, plus four, plus five, plus four, plus four, plus two. So the best one is actually right around there, but it will cost us production, so we will not do that. Plus four, uh, and for some reason we'll lose minus one. Okay, that 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 means we'll not do that. We'll lose one influence, which we will not, which we do not want. So, uh, actually, let's build one. Well, we could build it right there, or we could, of course, build it there. Plus four. Okay, let's let's do that. Build there. Build a farm right there. Uh, so, what else do we have? The last. Of the of their line, a troubling truth truth has emerged regarding the great stable megalopolis of uh, Thebes. Uh, many servants from the city's palace have been castrated at the command of the local ruler. These Ainukes are believed to be more loyal, and they are said to play a number of roles, from courtier to singer to guard. What is your view on this matter? Accept. So uh, punish force labor. Lockdown. Um, Okay, forced labor. Plus five industry. Mutilation of our people is an outrage. The city must pay. Yeah, well, we'll go for that one because it gives us a benefit. Um, yeah, confirm. Remind me later, please. So, uh, because I want to get uh, one additional era star. Population gain. Acknowledge. Acknowledge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are really close to this one. Yeah, we are really close to this one reward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get this next turn. So we have an idle city. What did you build? What did I build here? I, I built the, the fountain, didn't I? Uh, okay, it's still losing stability. Um... What can we do for stability? Um, we can actually... Can we build something for stability? 
Districts. Uh, plus 20 stability. We could do another one of these. Plus 5 stability. Mm -hmm. Do we get any stability from any of these? I don't think so. Uh, plus 15 fortification, defense and enclosure. Um, House of Scribes. So the one that will give the most ability is this damn stone circle. So uh, let's see. Let's see where we can do this. Um, do we want to have a second one of these? Hmm. Uh, I should have chosen the stability on the rivers uh, with the uh, with the religious tenet. That would have been better, but yeah, it's it's what it is now. So uh, let's see. Um, all of these give minus stability. Where do we have a problem? Um. Oh, okay, it's just strained and it will, it will drop to 75. Okay, okay, we, we can afford a little more stability hit there. So, how are we doing in uh, on population? We have 8, we can uh, get 1 in 6 turns. Uh, how long do we need to build one of these? Well, we'll not be able to build this because, um, yeah, because reasons. Um, where is our where is our archer? Can we no longer build archers? We can build warriors, obviously, but what the hell? So let's build an artisan uh, or a let's house build a house of scribes for science. So, uh, in turn, we'll get another Era Star. Yes, we have a Merchant Star. No, no, that's great. So, let's resolve that turn and then we'll choose our next culture at the start of the next um, episode. Manual Battle. Okay. Oh, we have we have some bears attacking us. Okay. Um. Yeah, that Let's should go! be alright. No mercy. Okay. That was easy. Twenty gold. We'll accept. And uh, we will not end the turn, of course. We will uh, call it a day here. Uh, because we can now progress to the next era. How are we doing? Well, we are at least second. Well, it's, that's that's uh, something. Uh, we can advance to the next era and uh, uh, choose a new culture. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, that's that. And this is why I chose Marathon. Because I actually feel like I would have liked to spend more time in this ancient era. I, I mean, we didn't even get to build our emblematic unit. So, yeah, um, well, we didn't really need it, but I would have liked to build it if I can. But um, yeah, we didn't, we didn't get to it. And we only have two cities. And I just feel like we didn't even have ch a chance to go to war because I, well, I just don't have the military power to take on Babylon right now. But I would really have liked to uh, teach them a lesson because they really, uh, yeah, they were really bothersome at some point. And, well, the Assyrians are too far away to do anything. But, um, yeah, the Babylonians really got on my nerves at some point. So I would have liked to take them out and it would actually make for better borders. And I feel like we will we will fight against these guys at some point. Yeah, I would really have liked to uh, spend more time in this era. So I'm a little bit, yeah, disappointed. So uh, endless game speed, 600 turns for my taste. Now I have to say it's too fast. It's too fast. I would have 
like to spend uh, like an additional 50 turns or so uh, in this area but yeah it what it is what it is um it's probably better for you guys watching here so it doesn't drag on forever so we already have 100 turns played of 600 total so it's still a pretty fast game if you ask me yeah but uh enough rambling we'll we'll uh, unlock our next culture in the next uh episode we'll see what that is we'll, i will not have a look at it right now we'll have a look at it together in the next episode two are already taken so this leaves us with eight to choose from and we will see which one will be most beneficial to our such situation here um yeah that's what we will do and uh, i hope you enjoyed today's episode uh if you did please leave a like below and be back next time and yeah until then i wish you all the best have a great time stay safe stay healthy and yeah bye